Okay, in this video, we're doing a victim drag with high smoke, low heat. So you have no visibility and low heat. So we're doing a victim drag. The idea here is we want to keep the victim out of harm's way. We want to give them more survivability. So we don't want to bring them up towards uh, the firefighter's head. Like most of us have been trained before. We want to keep them low and we want to keep their head low to give them a more survivability profile. So firefighter makes is going to come to the victim. He's going to get under the knees and he's going to lock his hands together. He's going to get on his balls of his feet and then he's going to squat. Now we need to turn the victim. When the victim is laying loose, his arms will drag, protecting his head from any other obstructions and they're out. All right, so you find your victim. You're gonna cross his legs away from you. In this scenario, I'm gonna use my right leg, put his legs up, you're gonna wrap, bear hug underneath his knees, and you have his feet to catch your back. Our faces are facing the same way, so when I turn left, his face is gonna turn left too, so we roll. And now my legs, this leg's gonna drive, it's just like you're the backup man on a hose line. You can look where you're going, still observe plenty of conditions, drag and drive. All right, this next one is gonna be a, a low victim drag. We got high heat, low visibility. We're trying to keep our firefighter down low because the heat is pushing him down. And we're trying to keep the victim down low because that is gonna increase survivability. So this is ideal for a very heavy victim. What is not ideal about this is a one firefighter drag. We're trying, when we can, we wanna do two firefighter drags. But this is an event, we can't do that. We don't have the proper manning or the manpower. We got one guy. So Nick is going to have his left, his left leg up and he's going to lock his, his feet behind his armpits. And he's got a good lock on. His right hand is going to drive and he's going to pull back. So he could fall back. If it's a heavy victim, he could fall back on his butt. If it's not too heavy of a victim, he could just kind of drag the way he's doing. Let's say we're 300 plus. Nick's going to have to fall back and bring his weight back with it. Reset come back reset come back this isn't a fast grab this is a, a down and dirty uh high heat high, uh, low visibility all right for this next video we're going to talk about what to do when finding a firefighter down the head to toe procedure on what we're doing so we're going to march this out so we have firefighter one that comes in Firefighter two comes in and firefighter three is gonna be rip pack. The first thing they do is they find his, his past device and reset it. Improves communication between them. We need to roll him. Before we roll him, hold up guys. Before we roll him, there's a couple things we're identifying. One, we wanna look and see what his air is at. So whoever, whoever does that needs to call out what the air is at. 4200. We need to confirm that this is the firefighter down. We could do that by looking at his tag on his, on his jacket, or we could look at the underside of the helmet if they have tags on their helmet to confirm that's him. So we confirm this is the firefighter down. Now we're gonna position him to roll him, okay? So they cross the legs, one arm up, one arm down. Depending on which way we're rolling, we wanna roll the direction of the arm that's up the way they did. So now firefighter one is going to sit him up. We're going to remove the helmet. We remove the helmet because we don't want the helmet to compromise the seal of the mask. Now we're going to do a head to toe assessment. We're making sure that the mask is okay. We're making sure the regulator is okay. We open the purge a little bit to make sure it's okay. So we determine the mask is good. The regulator is good. If he needs air, Firefighter three is in a ready position to do one of the three hookups. So we can either change his mask, change his regulator, or we can do a UAC connection. We are not gonna fill if he's not low. So if he's not low, we're not gonna quick fill. We're gonna get him out, we're gonna get him packaged and ready to go and ready to pull out. But he is ready to go if we do need to fill. He's, on his, he's positioned on his left side because the UAC connection is on the left side as well. As we sit him up, Firefighter two is gonna be tightening straps. We don't wanna convert the pack. We wanna tighten the waist straps. 
All right. This next video, we're going uh, firefighter down, single person rescue, and we're going to do some conventional um, using the air packs on rescuing him and dragging him out. So firefighter makes comes in, locates the firefighter down. He, again, he's doing his head to toe assessment. He's going to sit him up. He could check his uh, bottle, see what his air is at. Air is good. He's going to do head to toe. He's purging it. Now he's going to take the helmet off. Taking the helmet off is important. If we keep that helmet on, as we start dragging, it's going to push on this seal and compromise his seal. So we're going to do a good job by protecting his head. So what Manx is doing now, go slow. So he's grabbing his straps and he's pulling down on his straps. And he's going to take the straps back towards him. Back towards him is what's important with this. So he's got both straps and he's taking both straps back towards him. So now he's got a handle, he's got a grip on both sides right now. So now we can do a, a dirty drag and get him out. Just using the straps. So a variation of that grab. So let's say our firefighter down is a bigger firefighter and we don't have as much play in our straps as we normally would. We're still gonna tighten the straps as we normally would except now we don't have big handles to kind of grab on. So instead, we're gonna grab on the handle back here where the waist and the shoulder meet. He's grabbing the shoulder back here. Putting his hand back there. And he's doing it on the other side as well. So again, not ideal, but this is a quick, dirty drag. He's gonna get on the balls of his feet. Squat, lift, and drag. Okay, this next video is a two-person rescue um, without webbing. It's just using the firefighter's air pack and conventional rescue um, for the firefighter at the feet. So firefighter Manx is tightening his straps again. He's gonna go, he can either pull on his, on his access straps or he can pull on what we did before where the waist meets the shoulders. Okay, our, our second firefighter is gonna get under his knees. Again, helmet is off because ha having the helmet off is important because we don't wanna compromise the seal. So communication is key here, they're gonna need to communicate. Up and out. All right, in this next one, we're doing two firefighter and we're doing with webbing. So two firefighter rescue, with webbing. So same exact setup. We're saying we set him up. We're saying we, we checked his helmet. We, we checked his mask. We transferred him if we need to. And we're ready to just package and go. So at this point, Manx has his webbing. So what he's doing now is he's actually taking his webbing and he's going behind the bottle, in between the bottle and the harness is what his goal is. So sometimes you may have to start low and then cinch it high. So he's starting low and then he cinches, he can cinch it up higher. So now it's actually gonna ride on this, on our strap where we do that. The advantage of this is we're not pulling on the connection, we're actually pulling on, on the strap here. What he did now is he, he looped it underneath his legs and you have, you have one coming underneath his legs and one coming out the other side in his legs. So now we have, a, we have two pull, pull cords, firefighter, one is going to stand, he's going to stand up. Now what we want here is we want firefighter two to stand up first. And then firefighter one is going to capture the weight. Communication is key again. Ready, ready, go. All right, in this video, we're just giving you a couple different variations that you could do with webbing. This particular webbing um, has a carabiner attachment to it. So we could utilize it with our Scott packs, which is nice. So, Firefighter Nick's gonna go underneath and he's gonna clip where you see there's a little little gap in the pack right there. And that's where he's clipping and trying to clip onto there. So now Oliver's gonna come in and he's gonna grab his arms. Same thing goes with this. We're gonna tighten, the, tighten those straps up real good. So 
It's a lot easier for the firefighter in the back to tighten because he can pull back towards him as opposed to the firefighter in the front. The firefighter in the front should be tightening the waist straps because he can pull towards him as well. So patient is packaged or firefighter is packaged, all tightened up, ready to rock. So now we need to get the straps underneath his legs. So one strap is coming out underneath his leg and we need to get the other strap to come out under his leg. So Nick has a grip back here. He's already got him gripped. Oliver's gonna wrap his hands if he needs to. So he has a he has a lot of access here so he can wrap his hands a couple times just to get a better grip if he needs to. He's gonna get on the balls of his feet. Oliver's gonna lift first. Ready, ready, go. And we're up and out. And so this next one is using conventional webbing. Not everyone has the fancy webbing. If you do have conventional webbing, which everyone should have in their gear, we're gonna use this to our advantage. So Oliver is gonna come in, get in between his legs. He's gonna grab him, pull him up. Nick's gonna come back behind. He's got his knee on his back. We're gonna loop the top of his air pack and we're going underneath. Same thing what we did before except we're going, we're using the conventional webbing and we're going underneath his legs. So right now we have the bite going over the top of his air pack. Nick is still tightening his top straps, pulling towards him. Oliver's still gonna tighten his bottom straps, pull it towards him. Nick is gonna use the shoulder straps to his advantage and bringing them back towards Nick. If we brought him up towards the top, that's going to end up loosening these straps, and we don't want to do that. We want to keep them this way. So he's got them under his armpit, keeps the pack orientated as well. So Nick is in the, the upper position. Oliver is going to take his hands, and he's going to wrap his hands, and he's going to wrap as much as he can to try to stay as low as he can on that firefighter. Nick's on the balls of his feet. Oliver is going to get to the balls of his feet, and they're going to communicate. Ready? Ready? Up, and we're out. This is ideal for going upstairs.